first of all, the, the good news is uh, I very much agree with that. And I have publicly said, I think the vast majority of tokens will go away over a period of time because I can't figure out the utility. Uh, I mean, there's some that, you know, were created a little bit as uh, a, sar a satirical, sarcastic D Dogecoin is a clear example of it was never designed with utility. The founders have left the project. It moves based upon the tweets of Elon Musk. And yeah, that would be to me the, the definition of, okay, what is the utility? This is uh, purely speculative. I, I don't think that's healthy for the crypto market. Uh, but then I also think there are tokens where you're very much, you see lots of interesting entrepreneurs, lots of people taking advantage of, as Chris described, these are revolutionary technologies that can be used to solve real problems. But you're happening in different parts of the ecosystem. And I certainly think what Ripple is doing with XRP, with what other companies are doing with XRP, a, a open source decentralized digital asset, there's lots of utility, there's lots of use case. And I think you'll continue to see that grow. Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. What we do is focus on utility cryptos and mostly ISO 222 compliant cryptos. And yes, XRP is one of them. My people, of course, you already know how it is in the crypto market. More and more things keep on coming up. So, of course, we're going to keep you guys fed throughout these times. Let's get into it. So, as you guys can see here, I'm not really on the uh, space right there. But regardless, let's just go into this thing. So, as you can see, months after shilling a 3000 ETH, Kramer says that crypto has no value. Clearly, you guys understand and know these CNBC types, these trader types, that's all that they do flip flop always constantly this whole time they were keeping you bullish on a 3000 ETH because you had Kramer the man the finance man that's always telling us about what's happening with crypto yeah right finance crypto really does seem to be imploding when it goes from 3 trillion to 1 trillion why should it stop at 1 trillion there's no real value there of course as you guys know Jim Cramer in himself is the CNBC squawk box all right the cryptocurrency space has no value according to your Jim Cramer now, just in, guys, Circle has said that they hold 80% of their USDC reserves in U.S. Treasury bills and 20% in cash within the U.S. banking system. Now, if you guys don't uh, know anything about it, when it comes down to your USDT, when it comes down to your Tether, everybody's pretty much looking forward to a collapse that could possibly happen. Everything that happened with your Terra Luna, everything that happened with your Luna Classic is really causing a lot of regulators to come about to the crypto market and feel like, hey, what's happening with these algorithmic stable coins? Why is it? that all the money, all the liquidity is just gone and the person that created it is just off in the wind. We clearly have to have regulations that are going to be coming to these crypto markets so that we can truly mature. Let's actually step and look a little bit more into what's actually happening with Circle. So right here, they're saying that we have zero issues. Circle has put it out there as rumors of the USDT or USDC collapse surfaces. So again, as you're having everyone is in extreme fear right now, they want to know what's happening. But as you can see, Jeremy Allaire, the CEO of the USDC, uh, the USDC issuer Circle has said that they are in the strongest circle is in the strongest position it has ever been financially and will continue to increase its transparency. Guys, I'm telling you with the snap of value that we've seen, the collapse of what happens with Bitcoin and the collateral damage that's come about from it. As we can see, the crypto market is moving to a new space. We've had now more transparency that needs to be seen. And as you guys can see, Circle wants to continue to build trust. Let's look and actually find out a little bit more about how they audit. So right here from Circle site, you can see it in their article called How to Build Trust. Our, audit our auditors perform a monthly examination of account balances for the reserve and on-chain totals for the amount of USDC in circulation in order to provide a third-party assurance of the USDC ecosystem for accuracy of these statements. This type of assurance engagement is called an attestation. The accounting firm attests to the accuracy of the set of statements it is different from an audit it makes a little sense to test the financial controls monthly for example but it provides the same standard of assurances over the statements so again guys of course your usdc like we said here it's already tied up in the u.s banking system and as well has reserves with the treasury good stuff to see there now right here guys 
really good news. Staking is coming to the XRP community and you can do it all on your Zoom wallet. As you guys already know, you have a lot of people that are looking forward to a 25 cent XRP. Will it happen? When will it happen? When's the actual activation going to happen? Regardless of my XRP holders, understand passive income is on the way. Also, if you've been wondering about your flare or maybe about your spark for my XRP holders, this is what's going to be the claim ratio for your XRP to your spark tokens. For every one XRP that was on that snapshot, you're going to be receiving 1.0073 flare or spark tokens for each one xrp held on the snapshot then uh 1.003 uh flare will be received only 15 percent upon the launch guys understand that's what we're, they were going to do is send out those spark tokens in drops if you will only 15 percent and then they're going to continue to distribute them so expect that on september now guys i'm sure you have been noticing how you have 3ac celsius all of these different exchanges are really getting wonky. They're not allowing people to withdraw. They're not allowing people to deposit. Another reason really why you want to consider getting yourself some cold storage, okay? Making sure that you get your coins into a vault versus keeping them on those exchanges. Because understand, if you don't have those keys, that is not your crypto. So check this one out. From 3AC, how they were totally over leveraged. I mean, they had millions, 500 million totally leveraged over on Luna and they allowed that thing to get all the way down to 600 bucks guys that's that's heart-wrenching 500 million dissolved into 600 yikes so you have the trouble crypto fund uh three arrows capital head 7.5 million dollars worth of blue chip nfts let's go ahead and find out what nfts they actually own and what's going to be liquidated crypto punks uh art blocks mutant ape yacht club Board Ape Yacht Club, Cypher, all of these, and I'm assuming these are A1 blue chip art blocks curated NFTs. So interesting stuff that. Now we're going to be getting to our main piece here, my people. But before I say that, I want you guys to understand when it comes down to the Bank of England and their involvement with XRP and Ripple, they are in bed together. I'm telling you, do your own research and look into it. But what we're going to be discussing today is this. The Bank of England is calling for an enhanced crypto regulatory framework. Already from here, what we've been talking about is that the ECB has been saying that they want to apply regulations at least by the end of last month. Now that we're seeing Eurozone, Bank of England, we're going to be seeing a digital pound and a digital, uh, and a digital euro very soon. Let's actually see exactly what they were what they were coming out with. From here, in particular, the the report pointed to the sharp drop off in the market's value. Okay, so again, what am I really bringing this for you guys? Everyone, central banks, everyone across the board is seeing the decline in the crypto market. And why? Everything linking to your Luna Classic and everything. These vulnerabilities that were exposed include liquidity mismatches leading to run dynamics and fire sales and leverage positions being unwound and amplified price falls investor confidence in the ability of certain so-called stable coins to maintain their peg was weakened significantly and particularly those with no or riskier backing or lower transparency we're talking about the bank of england is coming in and they're saying exactly what we've been talking about sting uh, stable coins some stable coins held to be used for payments and all that they they're saying they want to regulate these things and regulate them hard so i'll leave you guys a link exactly for that as well now the next piece i'm going to be showing you guys is going to be coming out with bricks involvement bricks involvement if you don't know anything about bricks it's going to be your uh brazil your russia your india um your china and your south africa you're going to hear me say it again they make up 40 percent of the world population and if you think about what they do agriculturally we're talking about more than half more than half of the world's population. That's powerful influence, very powerful influence. So this next piece I wanna show you guys looks a little like this, check this out. So Russians, Russians are now banned from access with BitMEX within the EU. Understand and realize you have the BRICS nations that are moving, they're really trying to, to dethrone the dollar, if you will. Why? Because we're moving, away, we're moving towards gold-based, energy-based monetary system. So with that being said, you have Japan, you have U.S., you have Canada even, which is just rejecting this new way 
giving them problems. And as you can see, that's what's happening. So Russian citizens and residents will no longer be able to access BitMEX's services from the European Union right after my birthday. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's take a look at this, y'all. Russian citizens and residents will no longer have BitMEX after July 11th. That means that users will not be able to log into their account or access any services from the European Union unless an exception applies. Wow. The new restrictions do not apply to Russian citizens or residents accessing BitMEX services from the EU who are also residents in the EU or Switzerland. Dual citizens of the EU or Switzerland who reside outside Russia will also not be affected. If you're a resident of the EU, dual citizen, uh, and reside out of Russia, you may submit additional information to apply for an exemption. Look at this, y'all. All of this stuff. You thought it was stringent for you to get into the exchanges. <laughs> But look, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and as well, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace. Mm -hmm.